hey guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to be the first video of my new series nail designs in under 10 minutes so i feel like this will be a great series to have because we all have busy lives some people have kids and we don't have sometimes 40 minutes to sit down and watch a video so i want to make it short sweet and to the point okay so that you can come get your little nail thrill in for 10 minutes and get on with life okay so i hope that you guys end up liking this series i'm still going to be posting long videos also but i'm gonna have like a mix of both so i hope you guys enjoy and now let's get into this video i'm sorry too i have to say like y'all i am a goofball okay when it comes to goofiness and jokes i'm that person so i'm sorry i'm not about to be serious in these videos no more because it'd be too hard i've i literally try to hold back my laughter when i'm trying to sound all serious and professional so get ready for the upcoming jokes okay so anyway guys today i'm using a press nails french manicure tips this is my first time actually trying them out so i'm gonna let you guys know some of the things that i noticed that you can have and that i did that you can end up avoiding to not cause issues if you're do using these on a client or on yourself now i have seen where april said that you should not use sorry you should not use a tip cutter okay no they didn't really say don't use a tip cutter they just basically said don't shorten the nails too much so if you have a long coffin nail you shouldn't shorten a long coffin nail to a square nail and i see why so later on in the video i'm going to show you guys exactly what i'm talking about but right now i'm just filing around the cuticle so that it fits to my nail bed much nicer and more flush and then after this i'm going to go in with the silver primer that you saw and i'm going to etch behind the nail like so and you can either do this method and if if you don't have this you can just use your sanding band to rough up the inside of the nail just because it adhere it adheres better when you do so now we're just going to go in with the primer as per usual i did place the bonda on before i did the primer but i just cut that out because you know y'all you, you, don't need that now i'm taking the nude extension gel and i'm just applying i want to say a dollop you don't want to apply too much because then it's going to extend too far down and it's going to make a mess less is more that's what i'm trying to learn and be better at you just need a little and then apply that pressure so that it spreads down the nail equally and then after you get it to where you want you just want to flash cure it so that it locks it in i like to flash cure it for like five to ten seconds and then once i'm done applying all of the nails i'll cure the whole hand for 60 seconds you don't have to worry like it's not gonna fall off or cause bubbles or anything once you flash cure it for those few seconds everything should be locked in good enough until you cure fully and when i was doing this one thing that i would do next time would be not to extend the nude as far as i did i would do it a little less like right above my natural nail length if i were to do this on myself again and usually i'm a lot more careful and detailed when i apply my extend gel to the tip but y'all it was like one o'clock in the morning and i'm like i need to hurry get these nails done right now <laughs> this is how it looks after i've applied all the nails and cured them for 60 seconds now as you can see i went in with my tip cutter mind you on a few of the nails it was fine but on the middle finger specifically later on in the video you will see 
that it kind of lifted the clear tip kind of lifted up from the nude extension gel because of me using the nail tip cutter i guess the pressure just causes it to like snap back and lift it up so this is why april says that you need to buy the tip the size of the nail so if you want short square nails you need to buy april's tips in the short square you don't need to use the coffin nail to get short square because it just mess messes up the whole system even though i was still happy with how they came out like i said if i were to do this next time i would not cut the tip and i would leave it as is because i know the end result would be much more you know seamless and more what's the word i'm looking for uniformed but yeah guys so right now i'm also just shaping the nails i had to do for, for this set i needed the nails to be very 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 short so you're going to see me trying to file down to where my actual flesh is or my meat like we say like the nail tech say where my meat is that's where the nails need to be that's short so i can so i can type and i can function this this is a preference but i like to go in with my carbide bit and just clean up that cuticle area just in case there's any extend gel that may have came out i just like to keep my cuticles nice and flush and you can just quickly do this i did not go over the whole nail with this only the cuticles because because you're um doing the french manicure look you don't want to mess up that clear i guess the clear tip over the extend gel because then the nails can look cloudy and foggy Next, I'm going in with the French manicure colors that came also from Apris. They made the brush to have a curve so that it angles perfectly toward the tip. Because I don't know if you guys can see the tips actually have ridges in them so that you can draw your French perfectly and even. So each nail will basically look exactly the same due to the ridges because you can just follow the outline. So that's what I'm actually doing right now. I opted to only do one coat because i was tired <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i was so tired and i'm like i just need me some little short nails just trying to be a little cute and that's it and then after each finger once i draw the french i just flash cure it for about five to ten seconds and then obviously at the end i will go and cure it for a full 60. so you guys can watch me as i do this all right guys so i zoomed in on the middle finger so you can see the separation look at it right in the corner you can see where because i clipped the nail with the tip cutter the clear piece on the edge kind of separated from the extend gel underneath it's not a big deal honestly i had the nails on for almost two weeks and it was fine it didn't cause any like water damage to my real nails or anything like that so yeah it was definitely not a big deal but you know us nail techs are perfectionists so we like it to be a certain way after i've cured all the nails for 60 seconds i'm going in with my valentino top coat
All right, so after a full cure, hubby came in like, let me see these nails. What you doing over here? What you doing all focused? He approves, okay? He likes it. He said it's cute. So, hey, guys, that's a plus. Just crisping up those edges, and this is the finished look.